Hey everybody, this is Keith Gleason, host of Indie Comics Relay and creator of the Mighty Mascots. And I'm here with a, a an actual comic review. Um, before we get it started into that, um, just a reminder, Mighty Mascots 789 is currently still active on Indiegogo. Um, we are in the process of finishing up issue eight and launching right into issue nine. I have the thumbnails, I have the script, and I have um, all the pictures from the backers so they can be drawn into the issue for issue nine. So we're, we're uh, starting right into that as soon as issue eight is done. So hopefully we'll be close to at least halfway done, um, you know, by the end of December of um issue nine so it's on its way so <laughs> if you haven't backed yet you know here's the link i'll have the link below in the video as well um all right on to our review i have not done one of these in a long time um i kind of stopped doing reviews um you know i started doing comic reviews but i was reviewing um a lot of you know indie creators reviews and I was getting some weird feedback, uh, you know, especially if I didn't like something a hundred percent. And uh, so I kind of stopped doing them, but now I, I figured I'd go back to them and do them in, uh, you know, do indie reviews of, um, you know, smaller press kind of books like image or IDW uh, boom studios, that kind of thing. Um, and just stick to those kind of reviews. So um yeah, so that's pretty much where I'm at with the reviews these days. So I picked up the first issue of Creep Show um, from Image Comics. This is a horror anthology in the vein of Tales from the Crypt. Um, it's uh, based off, uh, you know, three movies. We'll, we won't count the third one, but um, also a TV show. Um that's on uh, Shutter, exclusive to Shutter. Um, a little history on the, the creep is sort of like you know, like the the Crypt Keeper. Um, you know, when George Romero and Stephen King made this movie back in the eighties, they were trying to do a Tales from the Crypt kind of movie. So they, you know, they couldn't get the rights or something happened there. So they decided to do their own thing called Creep Show. So. Um, Image Comics has put out a mini series. This is the first issue. Um, um, and I looked through the first, uh, you know, I've read, I've read both stories. Um, let me, well, let me start with the creators teams on this one. It's, um, so there's two stories here. The writers on the first one is Chris Burnham. And he's also the artist on that as well. The second story, Shingo is, um, uh, Paul Dini and Stephen Lankford, and then John McRae is the artist. Um, yeah, this is great. So it looks like they made a million covers too. <laughs> um, I don't really get into the variant cover game, unfortunately. But so the two stories in uh, Creep Show was uh, the first one was Take One, that's the one by Chris Burnham, and Shingo by Paul Dini and John McRae. Um, they were. They were so I really liked Take One by Chris Burnham. Uh, Shingo, I thought was okay. Um, but kind of a little, it was a it was horror, but it was also kind of a little bit on the goofy side. Um, but I, I really liked both of them. I don't want to go into the stories too much with you know, I don't want to spoil them for you guys. Um, they are, it, you know, it's a good anthology. And that's the one thing I like about anthologies is that, you know, even if you don't get, um, you know, you, you'll read a lot of good ones, but you'll also get some stinkers in there too. And like I said, Shingo wasn't bad, but it was just a little more over the top than I was expecting, I guess, or a little more goofy. It, it kind of has a goofy monster. It was almost like um, if you've seen the movie Creep Show, the crate. Um, if if that if that character if that creature was a little more on the goofier side, um, 
take one was kind of really cool though it reminded me of it, it could have been part of like uh the movie trick or treat you know it was about um you know like whenever you go to a house and sometimes there's a bowl of candy out there and you know there'll be a sign that says take one um they these kids kind of go to a house and they take more than one candy so, and you can kind of put together what happens next there you know but um it's uh it's it's good stuff like the chris burnham one the art is really good even in the shingo the john mccray one the uh and the paul dini one the art is pretty cool too uh john mccray is has gotten a, a lot better as an artist too since uh since i saw him last on hitman um the creature is a little, like I said, the creature is just a weird looking thing. Uh, Shingo, like a weird birthday. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I don't know. You guys would have to read it and tell me what you think about it. But um, I I like that Creep Show is back. Um, you know, I, I, the only thing they ever had in comics was back in the day, there was a Creep Show um, adaption of the movie and where the artwork was done by, um, Bernie Wrightson. So I was a huge fan of that. Um, I remember getting it in the library a lot and bringing it home. And I, I must have borrowed, borrowed it a million times until I finally got my own copy of it. I always thought it was so cool that they, they adapted it, but they had got Bernie Wrightson to do it, you know? So that was always fun. They never did a second one, uh, you know, a second one to the second movie, as far as I know. Um, and I always I, I enjoyed both movies. Three is kind of eh. I've seen some of the Shutter TV show, and it's not bad. It, it's very low budget though, so it, I think that hurts it a lot. You know, um, like they did a special episode of um, the Stephen King story Survivor type, but instead of filming it, it was just like animatics. So it was kind of like eh. I don't know. I, I kind of wish Shutter. I like you know Shutter is a decent streaming service for horror, but I kind of wish they would put a little more money into it, especially on the original stuff. And that way, Creepshow could be like their kind of shining, you know, go to uh, show on the on the Shutter. Make it really worthwhile for people to grab it. You know, um, they also changed the look of the creep from the movies to the Shutter TV show. I'm not sure why they did that. Um, you know, it's the same franchise. Um, he just, I don't know. He looks a little, uh, he looks way different than, you know, what he, what he did in, uh, in, in the, the movies. Um, I don't know if that maybe is a change to make it kind of stand out on its own. Maybe. I don't know. Um, the one thing that the shutter show does really well though, is they do a lot of, um, they show a lot of comic book pages that, you know, and then they turn into the turn into live action. That stuff looks great on the show. Um, you know, and that was one of the things I think the show kind of improved on over the movies, you know, but um, yeah, overall the comic, I think it's worth it. I, I, um, I would give it a thumbs up. It's four bucks and it looks like your standard 24 to 28 page book. Um, there is a afterwards in there by Greg Nicotero, who is the special effects guy on walking dead, but also the showrunner on, um, creep show. And he just talks about how he's, you know, always wanted to see a comic like this in existence. So, um, I'm kind of glad that he did it. I think it, I think it's something, you know, where I think the tales from the crypt stuff is just reprints now and we don't really have a great great uh horror anthology so i think this kind of fills that niche you know um so yeah recommend if you love the movies if you love uh horror stories um and if you love the creep <laughs> i would say definitely check this out now it looks like there's a million covers i don't i don't really get into that game so i just bought the standard one but i bet there's some amazing ones on there um and that's up to you if you're going to do that. But I recommend Creep Show. I'm going to, I've put it on the list. I'm going to get the entire mini series. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, everybody. That's it for this comic review. Um, like I said, I'm going to be putting more and more of these back in the rotation. Um, they seem to, when I was looking back on the analytics of our channel, they seem to do really well. So it's like, I, I think I should 
go back to doing some more. But like I said, I'm only going to stick to um, small press like Image and Boom and, you know, IDW, things like that. Bad idea, you know, those kind of books. Um, but all right, everybody. Have a great week. Uh, we are back live on Wednesday. I And then we're back to our bi-weekly schedule after that. So this week we got Jason Hunt from Sci-Fi For Me, which is a YouTube channel. So we're going to find out how that works and how they got started. And that should be a fun episode. So, all right, everybody. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And um, read some comics. All right. Have a good one. All right. Bye. Ahoy, Mickeys! Tis I, Captain Horatio Honeyflakes. And I be here to tell you about me newest crowdfunding campaign. The adventures continue with me crew, the Mighty Mascots, in issues 7, 8, and 9. Just focus your looking glass on the amazing artwork of Ian Warianto and Anton Bondi. Me crew, the Mighty Mascots, are up against some scurvy scallywags, and we need ye help. To defeat them, there be a bounty of exclusive treasure only available here, where X marks the spot. I spy a huge coffer of bonuses and stretch goals on the horizon. Then please consider pledging so we can continue these adventures with the weirdest crew I ever had the pleasure of sailing with. Mascots Unleashed!